Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm also gay, I was uh, gonna tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating Straight. Straight. Hello there. Oh, hello there, Hi, Jack. Amy. Hey, Muna. Hey, hello. Muna. Whoa. What's going on? We have What's Muna cooking? in the house. Yeah. You guys are my favorite band, by Thank the way. Thank you. You better not be lying. I'm going to be fucking well, pissed. Can you see us right now? I can. Are we allowed to say the naughty words? Yes. Please. Wow. Say them all in a row. Go. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Those are the ones Dude. you do. Pop. Pop. <laughs> Six. Squish. Ah. Uh, 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 Cicero. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> da, da, da. Dang. Gosh. <laughs> um, um, do you guys want to introduce yourselves like individually more than just Muna? You are humans <laughs> as well. Yes. What is going on? Yeah. Yeah. We're happy to do that. <laughs> Josette, would you like to begin? I'm Mike. <laughs> uh, Josette is also Mike. I'm Josette or Joe. We'll be referred to as Mike. From henceforth referred to as Mike. Mike is uh, Josette's alter ego. I think Mike actually might be here, but to be yeah. honest, well, I can call you Mike. Yeah, sure. Mike, Mike some Mike's, Mike's here sometimes. Mike. <laughs> Mike is not scared of anything, to be honest. Mike's Mike, not afraid. Mike has no All right, fear. so we have Mike <laughs> slash Joe. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. My name is Katie. I'm Woo. Naomi. Woo. Woo. And wait, what what you guys on guitar and then lead? Booklet? You got it. Ha -ha. We play. We both play guitar. I produce. Katie's a good producer as well. I play synths. Katie plays piano. I go kill myself. Joe plays the OP <laughs> one. Oh my god! And Why? Guitar. What are you? What is your problem? Yeah, what's wrong? It's my you're the best. It's not, you're it's not so good. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Good to meet you. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank yeah. you for having us. Um, okay. We have a Patreon. It has extra <laughs> episodes and live streams. Yeah. And a newsletter every month. Go subscribe. Also subscribe on YouTube and review on the podcast app. If you guys were writing a review of our podcast, what would it be? Negative. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> Why? It would still have to be five stars, but the review itself can be negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, five it's five stars and then... Um, that meditating was hot was too hard. Yeah. Well, that was my fault. So no, it, it was me. Me five star. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you guys get brownie points challenged. for wearing Muna merch. Okay. Yeah. Brownie points. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, to be honest, uh, we've only just begun. So yeah. I feel. So we'll see how they're. Okay, we'll circle back. Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let us know at the end of the episode. Right. After we ask you all of these very deep questions. <laughs> I can't wait. If you're sourcing questions from people on the internet, I have very, I have, I don't know. Most of them are from yet. us. Okay, good. Oh, uh, we have a, like a lot from the internet. Where'd they go? There. I can see on the back it says queer life. You're all oh. queer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that does say that. Okay, I missed that. All right, let's get into it. Cool. Amy's embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. I'm very shy is the problem. Okay. I, we did an episode with, um, do you know who Olivia O'Brien is? Mm -hmm. um, and I was so excited that I got so shy and oh, then I just laughed through the whole nice. episode. Our friend uh, Lauren Aquilina, I think, wrote a song for her or with her. Oh, cool. Know. That's how I know about her. Cool. Just smile and wave, y'all. Smile <laughs> and wave. Okay, should we get into our catch up? <laughs> sure. Let's do it. So we usually okay. have the catch up. Um, every time we start a podcast, think of something you need to get off your chest mm. while we Maybe from the spill. week, the month. Okay. You don't have to oh, do it, too. Okay. 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 My catch up is <laughs> I have a very, my first crush of 2020. Whoa. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> wow. It's not. It's like, why? It's I want it to go away now. I don't why? Because it's a crush. Yeah. It's just, I don't want it. Anyone here jealous? To have a crush? No. <laughs> on Amy's crush? Yeah. Jealous types? I'm just I'm a jealous dad. Jack. <laughs> Joseph's dad. Trying to set someone up on the show, you know? Um, We've been trained. No. I, I want it to go away. I need like a pill, an ointment. It's time. I'm over it. Do we it's not been, get to but know why? Who, but, oh, it's, it's we're no. <laughs> yeah. I, I, for some reason, I thought we were gonna be able to find out. I'm yeah. I guess I can tell you later. Okay. If, yeah, I don't sure. think you'd know who it is. No, but I would like to okay. know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll, I'll jealous. Loop you guys in. <laughs> yeah. We like tea. We're big. Yeah, big I'm here for it to pour all over the floor. Do you, you guys know. like to gossip? Uh, Privately, yeah. yes. I mean, no. Joe, I mean, Katie doesn't. Never we don't got, I don't know if gossip. <laughs> I, 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 we don't like gossip. mean, we don't like mean gossip. We yeah. like interest. We like titillating 
gossip. I mean, what deep. gossip? Who the fuck do we know? You know, not many people. Why you watch, like the Bachelor. About. Yeah, yeah. Well, I watch The Bachelor for the social experience. Yeah, of the people we, yeah, yeah, we yeah. watch with. Yeah, yeah. not. Uh, I kind of hate them. That's the tea I'm spilling. I realize <laughs> the bachelor people. No, I, I hate this season. This is this is my catch up. I'm jumping the gun. Yeah, go for I, it. I, I fucking hate them. I, I, they all they, suck. They all right? suck yeah. so much this season. Well, who are and you they're making me. For? I'm not ruined for any of those motherfuckers. <laughs> but you, I'm but over it. in the <laughs> love it, Dad. It, we don't like we don't like mean drama or mean gossip but we do enjoy like the the emotional roller coaster yeah. that some of the people on the bachelor are putting us through yeah 100 uh, to to be honest well what what mean gossip you just said i fucking hate all of those bitches uh, Does no that kind of- uh, i don't know no. if you said bitches uh, i don't know if i said bitches amy uh, 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 maybe. i don't know maybe oh, yeah yeah, yeah i don't yeah, sorry, i don't sorry. hate it. i i just uh i can usually enjoy it but for some reason this season i'm just like uh, i'm over it I think I'm, I'm over the, the i think the dingies peter is too into the gossip yeah and peter, the drama peter, and he's not peter focused enough my, on finding I'm, love i miss colton I miss that's where i'm at wow, you know wow. never thought that would be the yeah case. yeah also because we were making fun of him so hard but something about him was a little bit more endearing i think peter is a, a sex freak <laughs> 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 it's not relatable anything wrong with that I well, can't wait to see what the. I think there's there's something wild going to happen this. I want him so to we'll choose see. Hannah Brown at the end. Yeah, that's what it's, uh, Cal- uh, Kelly said that. I, I would love that. I right? need to catch up on The Bachelor. I'm like four episodes. We're behind, just like, but just I can't the whole time. spend that much time. Just from watch my life. No, it's not worth it. One. That's, that's always not worth it. It's two hours it's in an episode. I feel you. I feel you. Anyway, I don't know. I'm into it. What's your catch I, I like Kelsey. Like Walmart version of Peter. You don't. Don't worry about that. He's Walmart version of you. Peter is wow. cute. Peter is cute. I think he's cute. You should be Even so lucky. Cringe. To be, uh, yeah. Find him to be cute. Peter, listen. I feel like oh, you just find the cute? world's I don't most. Know. I don't think most men people are cute. that you would see at a freaking he's just target. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hating on, on it. I'm hating on it. I'm upset. He's not unattractive. I'm hating on it. He's not unattractive. He's not. And he could fly you anywhere. And the, yeah, and honest, scared I, I don't, I don't want to be flown. I, I'm over this. As well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joe's coming in hot and after. Like yeah, you piping hot. Uh, what if morning. Peter listens to this? He won't. But he, he fucking imagine. won't. We've only said nice things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, Come on. big fan. Yeah. He all just say, focus on finding love. They can all. know. I'm a fan of the, the Bachelor and uh, like a franchise can know. I am a fan. I just this season, you're making me angry. That's all. <laughs> He just picks him so wrong. He's yeah, picking that's like the all thing. the wrong one hundred. Him get kicking uh, Kelly, the attorney, off the show is a yeah. Big that mistake. I think that's when we all were like, I'm I'm over this soulless. Yeah. That's when we realized. Okay. Okay. Speaking so, of over yeah. this, <laughs> anyway, your time turn. Sorry. Oh, what's your? No, you haven't. Up? Oh, yeah, you have a crush. Is that yours? Yep. Period. Uh, yep. Okay. And you want to go away with an ointment? Yep. <laughs> an ointment. Mm. It's gotta go. Copy that. No. Luby. Mine is just that I'm. Dating a handsome man right now. I slept over at his wow. house last night, and I wore his shirt to the studio. It wasn't the Muna shirt, but oh, um, so, so he's not a fan. He's How did that feel times. though? It felt good. It was actually the second shirt I've stolen from him. Wow, does it smell well. like yes, him or is it clean? It does smell like him, and he has a smell in a That's good awesome. way. Can yeah, I ask a, a really way. crazy question? Maybe. Do you Maybe. enjoy <laughs> the smell of his of his self, like Sans? cologne like do you like his body odor this is a this is a quite this is an important question <laughs> well, I, I don't know, know that his smell <laughs> because, I, don't know because I think i have a i have a theory a i don't know if it's his the smell is his body odor but it's also not cologne i Got think it, it might be it's like combo. it's i don't know if it's what, odor lungs. it's yeah maybe well, i guess that is a body odor though that's why i'm asking i think it is sort of or at least maybe it's like the like sheets that he sleeps in yeah. like maybe like detergent pro- yeah like some well, mix of that Right. I feel like body odor implies like someone's sweating and it's like sweaty, gross. Yeah. I feel like there's no, difference between body right. odor and just neutral odor. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I think like that's your, what the, it is. And I like it. Your body's you person. odor. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> your Essentially. Your body is it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I think when you're... That's what I'm asking. I'm not saying you're falling in love. I don't want to jump the gun. <laughs> oh my God. No, I'm not Whoa. saying that. I'm not he saying is. That. <laughs> but I think it's so fascinating how like when you really like somebody, it's like anything that's connected to them. I like it. 
That's what I'm. That's your that eyes, was the you origin. Beautiful eyes, though, so I can't tell if it's yeah. you or Whoa. you're in love. I think she's you. hitting on really sparkling I think I and am. glowing. Yeah, We're thank you very much. We could shut something. He up listens, so what? please keep it chill. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> if you're listening, yeah, you're, you're listening. listening. Don't worry. Everything between you and Jack is cool and chill and fine oh, and normal. Okay. Well, I can oh, tell that you know. Less. And yeah, he's he's punching. Above his weight, just from looking at you. And you're no way. So he's very lucky. Okay. <laughs> he, sh- he should be so lucky. <laughs> so, I already did my We're just yelling about up. The Bachelor. We don't no, have anything like going have on. something to say. Katie's got a lot going on. We yeah. don't have much going on. Katie has During virus. that whole Bachelor, you were like, disassociate. You're just like. Because I don't, I don't, <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Yeah, no. I mean, I have this little cold. Germing. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. You keep yeah. mentioning it, and I feel so close to you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you keep, I'm sitting very close. Yeah, and together. I feel like I keep touching the things that you've touched. And- uh, it'll be okay. We're gonna have to disinfect <laughs> these mics after. Pause. Thank you, Lola, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Woo. Lola is a female-founded company offering a line of organic cotton tampons, pads, liners, and all-natural cleansing wipes. Yeah, and if there's anyone who knows something about tampons, it's me. <laughs> so um, unlike other brands, Lola products are 100% natural and easy to feel good about. Mm. No BS, mystery fibers, or doubts about what's going on in your body. Totally. Um, also, products come in simple, customizable subscriptions. Um, and they deliver exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. Yeah, I've used Lola, and I love that it's just 100% organic cotton. You like some of the other stuff is whack in other products. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, there's some like some of them are like bleach. bleach? Yeah. yeah, what is that? Well, I don't need it. Also, do you remember that vlog I did where I put a tampon in a glass of water? I do and remember that? So many fibers come off <gasps> of it. I remember. Like you don't want that. You want the natural you stuff. Want if Lola. something's going in your body, it should be natural. Yeah, yeah. Lola makes your month a little bit easier. The subscription is fully customizable, and you can choose your mix of products um, from what absorbency you want, number of boxes, and frequency of delivery. Um, and Lola's subscription is super flexible, so you can change, skip, or cancel subscription at any time. So it's just so easy. Yeah, try it. So for 30% off your first month subscription, visit mylola.com and enter straight when you subscribe. That's mylola.com and enter code straight for 30% off your first month subscription. Thank you, Lola. And Whoa. thank you, Best Fiends. Oh, yeah. So, as we know, mm. I am a fiend for Best Fiends. <laughs> I talk about this all the time. I I don't know. It's like just the classic game that I always go to. It is kind of like the game. If you're going to have a game on your phone, it's going to be Best Fiends. That's what I think. I frankly don't have tons and tons of games on my on my phone. No. But like... Everyone needs one. You need you need that one that can hit the spot. I yeah. Feel. And yeah, Best Fiends is great. Um, it has over 100 million downloads. So you know that. And it's five stars. So like, you know that, you know, bitches, bitches love, be, it. love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the fiends. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a casual game. Anyone can play. Amy is not a gamer. And she, and it's still good. I, I like the like puzzle aspect of Best Fiends. Yeah. And if you like to be like calmed and you like like collecting collectibles mm. there's a lot of that in this game as well mm. um and it updates every month with new levels and events so it never gets old love amen um <laughs> but yeah you can play it it's very quick so you can play it you know if you're waiting for your therapist appointment oh. or if you are um you know not driving the car and your friend's driving the car exactly or um you where? just want to like zone out a little yes. bit turn your brain off you can Play anywhere. Yeah. Pretty much. It's true. That is safe. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's really fun. I love it. And we've talked about this before. If you don't have Best Fiends and if you've never tried Best Fiends, what the hell? Try and it. if you have, download it again. It's still the, there's new shit. So make sure you download Best Fiends for free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's Best Friends without the R. Best Fiends. You're my best fiend, baby. Thanks, best fiends. <laughs> I feel like this is the setup. You guys talk about your love lives, and then you and then you casually throw it over to us. Like, exactly. We're well, we have to start. Our oh, guys oh, we're gonna ask nervous. you guys about your love life. All right. As well. You know, <laughs> it'll be very gonna be funny. Cool. Joe will be answering questions uh, about her uh, 
happy relationship of two years. <gasps> okay, let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> she's also she knows about the podcast. So yeah, be honestly, nice she's the one who made it. She's, she's the one who gave us the connect. This is why we're here. We love you, like, Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Shout out out Kelly. I you know Shout I used Kelly. to I think I used to think her name was Kelly Cation. <laughs> That's amazing. Because we just followed each other on Twitter and we'd never met. Mm -hmm. It's like ah, oh, Kelly Cation. And then I said that to Rebecca <laughs> once, and she's like, "What did you just say?" <laughs> <laughs> never mind. That's cute. I think I'm gonna call her that. Now. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, what I find interesting about you guys is that you live in the same building but not together. Uh, she moved. She moved from New York, and she stayed with us while she was trying to find a place. And then she found a place uh, three doors down, like, like the, the band. band. Yeah. That's nice. smart, I think. Ideal I'll situation. Yeah. To be honest, she really essentially lives with yeah, us. Is there a point? No. In, the, the point. Necessarily. She has I the think, option. Yeah, I think it's the, the option. option. Yeah. I think it's like, the, I think the option is good for um, the brain. You know, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your own space. And yeah. you guys Even are just the young. concept of your own space. How? <laughs> no offense. How old are you all? <laughs> um, how old do you Joe think we are? 25. I'm conducting a study. I, yeah, I, I have no 25. idea. They're 27. 26. I'm about to turn 26 in like a few days. Cool. Yes, yeah, so you were far off. Yeah. yeah. So do you think we look? What do you think? Cool. Yeah, you cool. look great. You look cool. <laughs> you look, uh, I'm talking. See, that's do we look ageless. old? How old are you guys? Are you like 20? Two, twenty-three. I'm twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. you have a you baby. You have a baby same, butter like face. Thank you. I'm twenty-six. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Mm. Well, everyone's looking. Wow. Good. Welcome to our group. And are you guys single? They're mingling. Oh. We're mingling. Are you dating around? Not around necessarily. Not around necessarily. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice is the correct answer. Well, cool. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the tender. I think it's a. It's, it's a. a it's a funny time. time. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's is that the time when just mm -hmm. tender touches? You know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we don't need to talk. Are you using you know? dating apps to date around? No. Or? I well, was. I was. I've. I've. I've been on them. Yeah, but but currently no. Yeah. How did you? How did you find it? Were you on like Raya? Yeah, I we actually helped Naomi set up their Raya, yeah. right? You would say I helped you. Yeah, yeah. You, um, <laughs> you did. And I discovered, th is this the time for me to dish the, the my, yeah. I have I have tea, <laughs> I have like, I have a bone to pick with Raya. I don't know if it's tea. Honestly, but Raya I find it difficult it. to be a queer woman on Raya because you can either have yourself see women and men and you see all the straight women like it doesn't really? filter like a or yeah. the only way for you to see queer women. I could be wrong. The only way for you to see women that have the same same sexual preference in quotes as you is if you don't look at men. So they basically have well, an algorithm that where bisexuals, bisexuals don't, don't exist. So I was using I was looking at women and men and having no luck with women for like a long time. And then when I set up Naomi's account, I was like, Oh no! This is why Kelly. No, we were at Costco, and Kelly said it, and then you immediately went on your phone. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Because I was shocked. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know this information. I was like, and I was telling people for months. I was like, all the girls that are on Raya, they kind of seem straight. I was like, I'm surprised. I was like, no, I'm seeing, and they games. don't like me. <laughs> sure. I wonder if you just like set it up wrong. Yeah, maybe you put it on like looking for friends. You know how people have that. No, Honestly, I really think I'm right about want? this. I think that's I like think looking you, for... I think the only way you can choose weird to me. for women who have the same sexual preference as you is if you don't look at men. I think so that's So maybe true. you can choose one or the other and then the other ones you can only see like but as why friends. should I have yeah. to do that? Let's get right. the audience uh, to email us. <laughs> yeah. To write a review. <laughs> email write a review. Raya. We'll yeah. be making yeah. an email. I, we, well, we'll be making yeah, an email. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I think Raya is stupid. I think yeah. it's <laughs> it is pretty stupid. pretentious. You Listen, have to it's pay. I meant it's classist. classist. You have to pay. Yeah. Not and in Bernie's America. You know? No, not 2020. Not in Bernie's America. I, I, no. I, I met Kelly on Raya, kind of. You did? Yeah, you did. Well, well, we met Kelly story. IRL prior, well, but we didn't really know it. Yeah, I met, we played a show at where she worked in New York, and uh, I remember... Uh, we were like hot girl. I was like, I love her. <laughs> I said that uh, we found her name was Kelly, and I was like, uh, JoJo loves hot Kelly. I remember telling that to Naomi. I yeah. forgot that. about her completely, and then I was on Raya for like two days, and she's the only person I started talking to. And then I was like, I don't like the internet. I like not dislike the internet, but it caused me a lot of anxiety. So I was like, I'm off Raya, and then she stopped texting me. But then she like texted me again like months later, and then. 
She came to our and show. And then she the was your yeah. hot Kelly. Yeah. yeah. So was, and then I and then I branded her. Yeah, we call her that. Cute. We called her that for a long time. My dad still does. And my That's dad, weird. That's fucking too bad. Freak. Jonathan. <laughs> he's a fucking freak. Shut it down, that Jonathan. That is, I think. Uh, That's too bad. Now he, <laughs> That's too it's bad. That's a real shame. That's <laughs> yeah, a real. They're there. Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. It's pretty <laughs> funny as a response. I'll be taking that. Put a pin in that. <laughs> Every yeah. time I go on Raya, I just see Raven Simone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that's Simone-ye? it. Simone. You guys, it's Simone. No. It is. I swear. What? I think so. It really is. She went on like The uh, View and she was like, guys, it's, it's Simone-ye. Raven Simone. Yeah. To be honest, I, I feel like she like, did that to cause a She put an Enya on the end? No. <laughs> I don't think like an actual Enya. I think it was think the concept was she like made it more easy to pronounce for like acting mm, reasons. Uh, like her. I don't know, right. real family name mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. to like make it more palatable. And then now wow. she's like right. Raven woman. You know? yeah. yeah, that's so Raven. No, I don't know if I name. ever <laughs> met anybody on Raya and it's, I'm I'm happy to not be paying the- Me too, I quit. I quit. To be honest, like- How'd you money? meet your boo? Hinge. Yeah, people Money like it. Yeah, Didn't it's you? like Didn't you? serious yeah. but not classist. Anyone can get on. Yeah. <laughs> serious mm-hmm. but not classist. Yeah. 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 Like, I endorse. That's what we want in a candidate. You know, yeah. serious. <laughs> but not classist. Not classist. Someone who will Fuck get the Bloomberg. job. Bloomberg. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Straight up. Oh, yeah. No, uh, he, can, he can go what, suck it. Like Thanks. Tinder, like what? So Hinge is serious. Tinder is for sleuthing. Not sleuthing. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> Sleuth- you can't meet people on Tinder. Yeah, you, you can't. just can't. I've met people you meet, back I, in the day. I was on Tinder, and you meet you you can meet people. But for forty maybe I think twenty twenty, different. Maybe you can. Yeah, no, you you meet no them in the, twenty sixteen when I was on it briefly. It yeah. was it was. Well, I met someone on Tinder in twenty. See, that's fifteen. Yeah, yeah that's I think that. it happened. But now, no, now it's uh, now it's over. Yeah, Tinder, your old news. Ooh, and I'm old. We shouldn't to say be this. Yeah, you. sponsor. Yeah, sponsor Tinder. We up. love. You. I love Tinder. I've met many men. On oh, Tinder. there we go. Like you depends. can meet people for sleuthing. It yeah, for sleuthing. Well, yeah. No, I think you can. I think it depends on the energy you're bringing. Yeah, I don't bring trust something. myself with Tinder. Right. Why? Sure. What What are you up to on Tinder? I just feel sleuth. like I won't. <laughs> I'll slip and fall into a sleuth. A sleuth. <laughs> a sleuth. <laughs> she'll, she'll slip and fall into the gutter. <laughs> I just think there's a lot of, um, yeah, magnetic. Probably fuck boys on, um, on Tinder. Yeah, and fuck, I think for gays we have girls. Grindr, fuck so whoever. it's like yeah, it's like Tinder you... is like our dating thing. You know, yeah, you right. we already have hookups. That's cute. You can right, really right. go down there. Do Do you guys have? No. Oh wait, uh, Lux. Right. What Lex? the hell is Lux? that? I'm so yeah. old, honestly. Lex. I'm like, send me a telegram. It's that new. I'm sure <laughs> the lesbians. Yeah. I'm sure the lesbians know it at home. It's like <laughs> mm, I think it's a queer woman and like um like queer people only app or you could just come to a muna show to be honest right yeah, wow well, okay period. and that's for real that's real shit yeah I not went, for us though we don't we don't do yeah that. we don't go outside yeah we don't go outside <laughs> the, the, not do ever we live on muna the fan meetup <laughs> muna yeah. fan, fan they, meetup they is do. like between the venue right now, and yeah. when we get on the bus and go to bed and so we say hi for two seconds and we go to bed we're very boring when are you guys touring next? TBD. Uh, if some we have amazing some festivals and stuff coming up. Oh yeah, I saw that you guys are doing Splenda in the grass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First Australia. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Vibe. Yeah, we're so we're excited. excited. You're from we're the grass. Yeah. Well, born in the grass. We've heard that Byron Bay is like the cool vacay spot. It is. Like, yeah, it's like super. I'm you guys will be very like at home. I feel. I'm. I'm excited. Yeah, we have like we're doing um some other ones. Uh, Bumber shoot. We're doing Govball in New York. We're doing like a couple cool. festivals. Yeah, That's Govball is super cool. cool. One. Yeah. So T. Yeah, and then we'll see what the rest. TBD. Of the year. We're working. We're working on. We're, we're working. trying to sleuth some tour. Some touring. <laughs> Pause. Thank you, Feels, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Okay, we all know that we experience stress. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Daily. <laughs> um, and I actually have trouble sleeping um, as of lately because of my anxiety. Oh, babe. It's okay because we <laughs> just got Feels yeah. in the mail. Mm. <laughs> um, so Feels is a premium CBD delivery company that delivers right to your door. Um, Feels... Naturally reduces stress, anxiety, pain, sleeplessness. Um, I use it more for anxiety and sleep. Mm, same. Oh, yes. We got, I got like a whole vial of feels and I, girl, I ate it all. <laughs> it's gone. It's so good. Like when you're going to sleep, you just like pop a couple drops. It's like a oil. A oil, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, good night. You really used it all? It was, it was, it was, 
it was go off. Thank you. <laughs> I have no problems with that. All I said was it because was, it was, it's it was. natural. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's also easy to take. Yeah, you just put a few drops under your tongue and you feel the difference within minutes. Mm. Um, and if you're new to CBD, um, Feels offers a free CBD hotline. So you know if you're worried about it. Oh, so if you have any questions, then they'll just answer it. Yeah, it's, it's everything. And there's no reason to worry about it. It's yeah. really chill. Um, it's really chill. <laughs> join the Feels community to get your Feels delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order, and you can. Pause or cancel at any time. <laughs> <laughs> um, Feels has us feeling our best every single day, and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash dating, and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. It's amazing. It's a lot, 50. Yeah, wow. Um, that's feels, F-E-A-L-S dot com slash dating to become a member and get 50% off automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash dating. Dating. Hell yeah. Thanks, Feels. And Ooh. thank you to Daytix. Daytix. You know it. Bag. Yeah, you know it. Today Tix is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, as we have shared, I went to a on a date. How was it? Good. It went off without a hitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was super easy. It was actually um all booked up, but we um through through today ticks we got on like the list for the lottery oh. for like super cheap tickets. Oh, um, yeah, and then we won. Damn, damn today ticks. I know. So you know, there's a lot of different things you can do on today ticks, like well to go see theater. Mm. Um, so yeah, just download the app or visit todayticks.com to find a show that you want. There's a variety of shows: comedy, dance, plays, musicals. There's always something going on. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's super super easy it literally takes like less than 30 seconds it's like not not a big deal at all yeah. um and yeah you can book in advance or you can book day of so that's everything that's me i'm a last minute ass girl yeah and i'm a head of time ass <laughs> boy um so no matter where you live it's not just broadway or london's west end it's in la chicago dc san francisco sydney australia whoa really yes and wow. more um so finally see that show you've been wanting to see forever or discover something that you'll love just as much go to todaytix.com slash dating and use the promo code dating to get ten dollars off your first today ticks purchase that's promo code dating at today ticks t-i-x mm. dot com slash dating for ten dollars off your first ticket purchase today ticks dot com slash what <laughs> dating <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> thanks today ticks we'd like to open for someone oh yeah you guys opened for harry styles we did we did that's everything that's hot he's hot yes it was hot yeah it was hot. hot we did, had a hot time I'll, I'll say it did you guys have <laughs> chat you're brave chat? Yeah. uh we did chit chat he was a he was a beautiful sexually attractive man mm. <laughs> <We're> all, <laughs> he like opened the door like, once for me at sage and i was like wow what do you sage? mean open the door is that like a metaphor no no or? i was standing outside of do you know sage yeah, yeah. i know yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're all vegan like, because, yeah and vegan. i was like you're, you're all, all vegan, vegan? No. No. Well, no okay. naomi, uh, naomi i'm vegan she's vegan. vegetarian she's that like, been that shocking though no no we're gay no like or gay jay's like left out name a lesbian name a lesbian you tell me queer woman or who has them who is not at least like pescatarian jack name that, one is that the in can you i really can't I it is the in new i know you get woman you get who's s- not at least pescatarian Pes- like who 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 eats like oh my god when was the last time at you least saw some a, point in your life a gay chick eating like what a about ellen real hamburger she's vegan she's ellen, vegan no ellen's not vegan anymore oh yeah she's oh. pescatarian now yeah well ellen could eat steaks wow. every day oh if she right. wanted to right she should and just not tell. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like she's she's in it. Like her and Portia are in it for like the bionic life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna make it to like 180. <laughs> no, but that's that. I think that's me. I think that's the people who used to be vegan and then they become pescatarian or trying to. They're trying uh, to get that B12. Yeah, they're trying to biotech themselves. Uh, yeah, the bionic life. Fish is yummy. I'll say it. I agree. It's yeah, good. I miss Katie, a hand Katie, roll here and there. I won't lie. I've never been. I like I, I, I'm a Pisces. I find it to be Delicious. wrong. Oh, it's your season. How <laughs> do you nice. feel? Strong or sad? Or <laughs> oh, I feel strong. <laughs> Strongly sad. Yeah, yeah. It's very emotional. I, I, did, I, did have, emotional. I did have a few days where I was like, I was falling into a depression, but then we worked and I, I felt better. I'm well. I, that was before Pisces season, I assume. Right. It was it Aquarius started yesterday. Season, oh, really? Season. It was at the end of Aquarius. I feel like season, you're though. flexing. In a way, oh, given that I just we, go on Twitter a lot. 
<laughs> What's that? They give you the information? Yeah. I do yeah. too. I'm on Twitter all the time, but all I see are like really crazy videos. Um, what kind of crazy videos? Just people doing wild stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Someone, <laughs> that, like, someone I'm holding, holding nothing. Yeah, someone, <laughs> someone holding a pigeon on the train in New York. Did you, you know? see the Shit pigeon like and the puppy cuddling? No. no, but have you seen the donkey and the puppy cuddling? Because we this should all, all watch these that. Are all, uh, these are all the starts of some beautiful rom-coms. Probably, all engineered yeah. by that performance artist in New York City who is responsible for Pizza Rat. What is her name? Oh, I don't know. It's Remind like It sounds like Rafiki. Um, so, there, so there was a video of a rat uh-huh. um, carrying like a full piece of pizza down the New York subway stairs. What she? <laughs> Math thing. And it was <laughs> like, it took the world right. by storm. Yeah. Um, but uh, I listened to another podcast recently called Reply All in which like this guy basically uncovers this mystery to find out that this woman in New York is a performance artist who trained the rat to do that Stop. she like are we fact checking and, that though? and it's like her whole like she has a whole universe of plans of like things that she knows the rat lady universe are it's the big R L U. is she that like a full-time star. job yeah like, to be honest i, I don't know so. how is she commoditifying this is she getting free pizza for life can i google this can i use yeah. my phone Please. right now yeah because i want to figure out what her in name boston is. when i lived in boston on the common there was this woman who trained the squirrels um to if you do th- this hand motion they come to you and they will Mm-mm. like get jump onto you if you're if you're like open to it Listen, zardulu i'm i'm closed off to to squirrels <laughs> to rodents i was i'm, I'm, closed, that's I'm closed. so damn cute squirrels are too bold I bit, when I got our, bit at our university they are unhinged like <laughs> where we went to school I loved it. they were un <laughs> i'm all about it Hunting to chaos beach, creatures beach, the beach squirrels are the ones that are the crazy i have seen me. a squirrel come out of a trash can with a full piece of pizza in its mouth in real life and that was not a training <laughs> i usually they had that was not on a our training <laughs> Well, no, they're out here. That was a performance, Wiling not out. a training. Like, what happened after you got bit? Did you have to get, like, a rabies shot? You know, I didn't do anything. I was a child. I didn't tell anybody <laughs> or do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, at a golf course. Luckily for you, I think I off the five... Him. Uh, off the five, uh, when you're driving past Riverside, there's a big sign that says ten dollar rabies shots. So, so you yeah, can go get a ten dollar rabies shot. Right very now. affordable. Go, no, no, I'm scared of you people yeah. on <laughs> this side of the room. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So <laughs> you <laughs> dated someone. We also know oh, yeah. that the T that the tea. you guys, Katie and Naomi, used to date. Indeed, yeah, it is did. the tea. How was that? We spilled that tea ourselves. How we've been in, that? We've been How in control that? of the narrative. The dating part? Which yeah. part? Yeah. The dating part. Yeah. Well, when did you start dating? In college, yeah. Before the college, band. Back in the before olden the days band. when we didn't have. Before the band. Before yeah. The band. <gasps> yeah. Before wow. the band. Yeah. But then, but when we were first starting to talk, she was like, what do you do uh, aside from school? And I was like, I don't know, like I play guitar and stuff. And like, I've always had know. music and in my life. And, and she was like, oh, cool. You can be my band. And I was like, <laughs> I, and then we were ended up being in a band in the future. Yeah. So yeah. Katie had engineered it much like the performance artist with the rat. And <laughs> I'm the rat. the rat. <laughs> yeah. yeah the rat. And Joe's the pizza. You're the pizza. <laughs> and, and you're the woman. And I'm Zardulu. <laughs> <laughs> that's so honest, awesome all this is doing is making me want to eat some pizza eat some, eat some pizza it's a shame it's yeah. a pizza but so you guys broke up <laughs> while you were in a band pizza. already right um they mm-hmm. broke up right never after, mind right, never mind i don't know we should like yeah i don't know do you not want to talk about this we no, dated for we to. dated for like three yeah. years no because it honestly we've been we broken spend, up got, for longer than we long, yeah really much, naomi's been how long in, we're BFFs. Yeah. First, I want to know, like are you, do you have any exes that you're really close to? Because I think this is a, okay, I'm surprised. <laughs> I feel like it's a clear opposite. phenomenon. Yeah, I'm absolutely not as I well. I feel a... like anyone who's dated me hates me after. Oh, totally. Mm. But you did absolutely nothing wrong, surely. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> Shall we do? <laughs> No, I feel like it's really common with like queer women that they are like break up and then they're like, you're my family now. So, Mm -hmm. um, so we just like, is this actually true? We were, I think it's actually true. We were kind of famo though. Yeah. But you are a little, you are my fam, my family. Well, yeah, but also you guys had no choice to some extent. Right. We didn't have a choice. We we had no choice to make it work. And then I made them go to therapy. Yeah. We went to a couple's therapy after we broke up. At a certain point, it was not good for me, the child. When we first went, 
to couples therapy, she was confused at what was going on because we were young women who had just broken up. And she was like, what's going on? But she was like, we could treat this like if you guys are getting divorced and you have a kid. Um, so wow. that was what we did for a couple of times. But yeah, anytime we've gone to therapy because we did it as a couple and then we did it as a band. And I think we always end up bonding over vil- vilifying the therapist rather than actually <laughs> listening to the therapist. To be honest, though, I was not here for our therapist. Well, then We're it's just, good because you can have like common ground over yeah, something. Right. We, it it been, brings us together. Yeah. I think, I think we need therapy you, was different, though. Yeah. Too. It was a different uh stage it's also just like incredibly hard to get someone hip to like a relationship that you've had with people for seven years that like involves so much internal like language and i don't know i feel like sometimes when therapists that we've seen are a little bit too square for us Hmm. they're a little too also we talk about our feelings so much i think it's a really almost impossible task for someone to come in and and give us a piece of information that we haven't already rolled around okay so we're kind of impossible Very to therapize. We're a little impossible. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that's probably good. But you that's grown, you know, yeah. that's grown like a lot over the years. I mean, I think when we dated, it was like, um, it was like that coming of age, like time of being in love where I think we both, I think relationships are kind of almost there to like trigger you and like figure <laughs> out you. where you're, oh, yeah. Yeah, where your hurt is like, yeah. well, you have the trauma, but mm-hmm. then you see it when you're falling in love. And when you're in like a out. long-term, like formative years of your life, like right. becoming an adult relationship. So that relationship that. like taught me a lot about what I like wanted to change about myself pretty much. Yeah, and, then, like, and then it was after it was like actually committing to trying to make those changes. And it's been For cool. Sure. Cause it's like, you can show up and like, we still get to witness each other like growing. Um, and I think we feel like, I think all three of us feel all like three of us, yeah. really, I feel like we feel really like protective over each other and like we're very intimate and, and we all love each other so much and yeah. we just want each other to be happy. So mm-hmm. that is the truth out of any relationship. Yeah. It should be, it, you, you think you're falling in love and then you're like, actually you are my, what's the, what's the Buddhist teacher? Like you're not a sense, guru. guru. <laughs> Sensei, you're my guru. Not sensei. <laughs> yeah, sensei is no, uh, I'm martial sensei. arts. I love you yeah. like a guru. Yeah, but you know, that's what it's for. To, to, yeah, not for but. But it's. You know, I'm really sense. proud of like where we are now. It's mm-hmm. been a long time. Same. And yeah, uh, I'd but, imagine that would be very unique <coughs> to get was, through. Yeah, we're Although incredibly unique and interesting. Bands. I think it's just intimate. Yeah, like making music probably. is intimate, and like it could be Fleetwood Mac or it could be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the thing is, it's also it's like the intimacy that the three of us share is also just like wild. Like even if we didn't, uh, you guys hadn't dated or whatever. I think it's just still just a wildly like codependent. uh, (laughs) Indeed. (laughs) In a good way. (laughs) No, but it's just like you're you're if you're actually doing it and doing it in the way that we do it, where we're making like emotional music that we feel like means something Mm -hmm. like uh, we're we're lost in the sauce of each other and deep in the bowl of spaghetti. Well, I think obviously like there's like different types of love. So you just kind of like maybe shifted. Yeah, a different type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like a and family that, love or something. But that was also always there. Like, yeah. yeah. That was always there the whole time. Yeah. I think it was we just realized. like. I think there's like with with mus- with collaborators, there's like an element. It's almost like more so I believe in like soulmates for collaboration 100%. more than I actually think for relationships. 100%. Relationships, I think, are timing and commitment. Right. Yeah. More than. Yeah. 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 But I think it's a, it's a choice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a choice. Oh. Uh, you know, but I think really like I think we, the three of us were like drawn to each other in in a very real way, and that it has a lot to do with like why we work well together. Yeah, and I think we were like m- meant to make music together. Yeah. Like we fight and stuff, and we like sometimes disagree on things, but ultimately, like there is like an unspoken level of communication where like sometimes like I'll. I'll be like working on a song that Katie has sent over and I'll know exactly what to do with it. And Joe will know exactly how, what the guitar part should be. And like, we all kind of are able to just like get to the place where we were, we're happy with it and not really need to like really talk about it in that Mm -hmm. way. So it's cool. 
There's vibes. We're vibing. You guys are on the same wavelength. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time. Sometimes not, but... <laughs> and yeah, when we're not, we time. tend to know why. Because yeah, it's yeah. like we've been together for seven years now. So yeah. isn't that crazy? It's a long, it's a long time. time. Yeah. Yeah. So you it's like crazy. kind of know like what's coming up for people and like what people's patterns are. It's really... Mm-hmm. Well, they say if you've been friends for seven years, then it's forever. Let's go. Right? I didn't know that. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. We're gonna be (laughs) fossils. Naomi and I will probably become common law married at some point. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because they live. They live together. We've lived together. You know, for like tax reasons, you're gonna get married. No, it's like, isn't it? If you live with someone for a certain amount of time, you become common law married. Yeah, you get like technically marriage. we've lived know. together since well I moved in with at my the parents. end of 2017 to your yeah so it's been about so. three years <laughs> they really did that shout out to the mask <laughs> the months. they left you we'll out see of you it on Sunday I just oh, could never she, we could never do it that way Naomi <laughs> Naomi and I it's just like we don't uh, we don't really have to talk or well we talk all the time we but exist, it's like it's more exist. just like oh just you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, or we'll be like silently like moving yeah we're like sims we'll be like walking into the wall like around each other <laughs> bump like, into the wall yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's, that's kind of what, what it is and like, then we like, like put on tv and then we're just like kind of like like we <laughs> characters like bouncing up and down <laughs> dun, 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 and like to that music you can't dun 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 no i'm so i'm so intense bothered i think we're just really unbothered yeah you seem like the older sister kind of or this is that, really funny that you say sure. that because i'm, a I'm one of me. three sisters Are you the and i'm i'm the middle oh and everybody thinks i'm the older sister you know, yeah. i know why it's because the middle child is the, the the grounding force between the other two no especially if it's a group of three i thought the middle child gets left out isn't that what Middle child syndrome. But I think the middle. I think the middle yeah. child needs to. Be, <laughs> no, I mean I, that's not a negative oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying you got it. That is what people think. Well, I have three cats, and my middle cat is left you out. Three your middle cats? cat. Is, what is your middle cat? <laughs> the like the <laughs> second cat I got. Mm. What's the age difference? Between like not. It's not a lot. Oh my god! It, th- are you going to therapy? Act- <laughs> yeah. Are they in therapy? Are they going to therapy? <laughs> I should. I should bring them. Um, oh the third cat was a mistake. I'll say it. <laughs> wow, it was a mistake. <laughs> Do they know that you feel this way? Well, I was just fostering her. Are you trying to get rid of it? No, no, no. She's mine now. Okay. I was fostering a mistake and then, that you kept. Yeah, and then I wasn't gonna give her back. Like no. <laughs> fostering is a mistake. A mistake. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was, I was, I, I, was I was certainly a surprise. I think all three of us were. Um, I think we figured that out on our last tour. Like m- the majority of our band, we're all s- are accidents, and the one person who's not is like the one you would sense. guess. Scott. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, wait, Scott, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the most uh, emotionally secure. I, I think my yeah. parents planned to have another kid. I just don't think they were ha- planning to have for it to happen so soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because there's not a big age. But I like that. Gender, I like that we showed a certain tenacity. Yeah. To exist, the sperm yeah, that yeah. didn't quit. Yeah. Moon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really super don't want to talk about that. <laughs> you know what? Whoa, fucking sucks. <laughs> no, nah, I don't want to talk about that. Jesus, you put that on a shot, Mm-mm. right? Mm-mm. I'm the, the one who made it. <laughs> you are you really are disgusting? <laughs> okay, well, you guys and obviously you. have like been known each other for a long time. Mm. So, how do you keep a relationship? Like long term, even even if it's not relation like dating mm. or you know friendship or either, you know how do you keep something alive? Yummy food and TV and movies and hanging out and <laughs> hugs. Define what does alive yeah. mean? Like in terms of well, sex? like I feel like some yeah. people get bored <laughs> of their relationships after their. You guys seem people. very entertained by each other. Which We're is very good. Yeah. yeah yeah, and then but then that'll lead to like us really triggering the hell out of each other sometimes. But I think we're typically quite amused by one another. Depends on if I'm if I'm, uh, I have if I'm feeling prissy or like uh, sometimes y'all make me upset. <laughs> but uh, are you sassy? Uh, it, it, it really up. happens. No, I think it just it, each I think of us just can be baby if we're triggering one another. Um, yeah. But uh, so the question is, how do we get not bored of it? How do we well, get not bored? Yeah. <laughs> You just have to be incredibly interesting and riveting as a human. Uh, I think friendships are just different. I mean, I think the things like we, we're just we're working together. So it's like we're talking a lot of time. We'll talk about something silly and then we'll be like, so. So the project. Yeah. Work. Okay. And then it's like we need yeah, to. My girlfriend doesn't get mad, but like 
when the, we all hang out, like we end up talking about yeah. work a lot. And That's know. not our fault. No, it's not our fault, no, but it is something that we got to be like, we, we are a little bit of workaholics. I so think though, I mean, I, I look at them and like all the ways that y'all have changed in the last couple of years. Like I think people as individuals, if they're, if they're paying attention to their own impulses and curiosities, like, and getting into life in interesting ways, then that helps all the relationships you're in. Like 100. they pick Same up on you. like interests and they just like there's stuff they want to do. And Same do to it. you. Yeah. yeah we've Same to you, my friend. We've all changed. And like, also with your Katie spirit. maybe has had the most. Katie has become the butterfly in her life. I feel like I appreciate that. But I oh, like tell us butterfly. what. That no, means. she just she yeah. just had such a transformation. I feel like. Yeah, really, for sure. Yeah. We've all had she, transformations she from deep. when we first knew each other. Yeah, 100. I mean, like, they say that they, I mean, who is they? But, like, generally, I feel like the age that we are in at the moment, not quite you yet, but soon. Yeah, a little bit. Um, is a second adolescence when you're, like, you're out it. of school if you were in school. Um, you are having to deal with, like, being a real adult and having health insurance and and your parents not helping you with stuff anymore and like actually having to be a grown up in some serious ways and I think that leads you to sort of just question a lot question of like it. patterns in your life and you know it's also your brain is well your brain doesn't stop the developing but it's, but it's starting to it's starting to to stop and so mental illness will definitely pop up if you got it <laughs> uh, and sure. other yeah. and like we all got it yeah. Yeah. yeah you know but like you're you just like things are really starting to become apparent to you things become yeah for sure right hmm. yeah jack get ready for i don't know if we actually oh. answered for it. things yeah, to become apparent health. yeah <laughs> I'm in it. I went to my first therapy session actually How was this week. It? It was great. Yeah, it was. That's a great catch up. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Tell us about it. Um, it was fine. Did you talk about me? No. What? Did you have to do the whole like? <laughs> here's my life of trauma in like three minutes. I hate that. Yeah. Wait, did they make you? Do, did your therapist make? I've you been. Do that? To, I mean, okay, I've been to so many therapists in my life, but a lot of therapists will do that. And the first yes, therapist yeah. did not make me do that. It's probably useful info for them to have, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that many traumas though. I'm just like oh, wait, a horribly baby. anxious for no reason. You yeah, know, it's but just, like. Could runs be natal. In the family. Yeah, that your right. brain yeah, it runs. Yeah, chemical. runs yeah. in the family. Yeah, yeah. it's chemical. chill though. But yeah, it was fine. <laughs> I don't know. It was, well, it I was think like, trauma can be intergenerational. Hardly. Yeah, like, well, I've been spending so much time with my family the last couple of months, and it's been so rewarding and like interesting to pay attention to the stories that I can get from different generations and just having compassion for like the stuff that they've been through and also knowing that it's just in my DNA. Yeah, mm. So that helps you have compassion for yourself. I think about that a Hella lot. Hella uh, we were, what, what did we, wait, what were, um, <laughs> Hella traumatized. Naomi, we watched a doc, I feel like recently, and it was about, I don't know, but we were talking about, oh, it was the Aaron Hernandez yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, documentary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should I watch that? Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's Ooh, really good. It's really intense. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the thing that I was thinking about is just like that, uh, this is crazy. Uh, this has this is completely off topic. I'll you over her I yeah, worried. I was worried that we were gonna do this. We go on like such we'll, we'll insanely <laughs> deep tangents. No, it's so it's okay. good. I, I just had this living. realization. I don't know if I ever want children at all, but I was like, I understand the reasoning for people having. <laughs> I understand. Like for me, I've always like, if I have a child, I want to adopt a child. The thing that I was realizing with my own experience uh, with mental illness and stuff, I understand why people have their own kids just for the sake of understanding someone else's struggles and being able mm -hmm. to help them. Like sure. I think about like adopting a child and not knowing how to help them because I don't understand uh, yeah. their, yeah. their Genetic. yeah. And like what's actually like going on with them. I think about that a lot. I'm I like, mean, that's heavy. That's if you want to go there for real, for real, you can kind of say that I experienced that to an extent Yeah, 100. being mixed race and having parents of completely different life experiences, neither of whom yeah. understand my particular life experience in any way. And ultimately it is fine. If you're, if you're a good yeah. person, like your, your parent will your be mom. understanding and stuff. And like yeah. both of my parents are pretty in terms of like identity politics are very willing to learn and they're cool about it. But yeah, like sometimes they'll say some wild stuff. <laughs> and or just like not understand yeah not yeah. understand, not understand at, at all yeah but yeah. My, i guess my parents don't understand yeah i mean you know. yeah there's certain i think you're gonna encounter that regardless of whether or not you have a biological child but i do understand in terms of like of like 
intergenerational trauma sort of understanding and being able to relate to like an exact experience like if you yeah. if they do have inherited traits of yours or for me witnessing my parents like own um the the things that they do in their daily lives that i'm realizing that i do and it is like yeah. an inherited trait and i'm like yeah. oh word mm -hmm. yeah or even if you didn't inherit it but like sometimes you just like i feel like the traumas that i have are like long-term things that like aren't even traumas they're just like Things that I never that. noticed. No. <laughs> I'm I mean, still like, working through them. I mean, yeah, like, don't what's, sure. what's the word trauma? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What is that? It, what does that really entail? Yeah. No, this is always I where we end up going. That. If we go to etymology. Yeah, uh, fuck you, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's okay, bro. Yeah, that's a good point, though, about... I've never thought about that, about having kids because yeah. i think about having kids but i never then i used to always you do you're so young to be thinking about right i know but i'm yeah. a great or, yeah. <laughs> everyone, have you always thought about it like i want to have kids i think but i, I used to always be like super super adoption like adoption only i would uh -huh. never consider surrogacy but that's a really good point and i've been not rethinking but just questioning my you know you got to question your ideas sometimes. ever since you met amy yeah, I would have a surrogate. Oh my god! Wow, you would not be Come my on, surrogate. Let's do it. <laughs> no, but uh. would you guys? You guys want like the family, like the nuclear family? Do you think? I you think I'm up? the only one in this crew who's even slightly. This is not. This is not the question that you asked. But I think She's, I'm the only one who is interested in growing a baby inside me. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think. I don't think. No I, baby inside. I, I'm worried no baby. about what will happen when I, the baby not comes out of me and my brain stem <laughs> releases those chemicals and you mm. change that forever. forever changes my brain because my brain already. It's like I. I already know if I have a child. I'm gonna intensive mother like the motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They, Joe and I Joe mean? and I both really intensive want intensive mothering. Naomi like to I'm have, just gonna be crazy. We want a baby it. with Naomi jeans. Yeah, I do want because a little I love Naomi's Naomi as a baby. <laughs> Pretty cute. Do you have Fucking any cute. siblings that no. could help okay? No, big accident. Big, big, big oh. mistake oh. as a child. A big, 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 big mistake. Awesome. Big mistake. Good. Well, not, not awesome, but no, you're working with no, it. You're working with it. They were stoked ultimately, but like, <laughs> yeah, big mistake. It. Okay. Yeah. So we can't make that happen. Well, we could in several ways. What not in the ways you're envisioning. Do you guys have siblings? Well, sh we could take her egg. That's what they I'm yeah, saying. Totally. Do you yeah, guys I have, have siblings? I have a sibling who's a homo, right? Who's a homosexual. Oh, I'd oh, give you an okay. egg. Good. I'd that's give okay. you an egg for sure. I mean, like, I don't really want any eggs at this point, but I would take your <laughs> egg. I would not like a nuclear family so much as I would like to own like a ranch in Ojai. Ooh, yeah, I you want know? a commune. That that's honest. where I'm okay. at. Yeah, yeah. I just want a for like all of you. I just green. know maybe like I a think, vineyard. I yeah, think Ooh, family you know, I don't even drink really. for parents, it's yeah. like crazy that you have to raise children and it's just you and like one other person. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I can't do that. But I, I would honestly, if I'm old and my parents are old, I'd probably scoop them up, throw them in the back. Right. <laughs> Even what? though that I fucking they. <laughs> what are you, you saying? Will so kind, by the way, you will eventually get used to the way that she talks. It just mm. takes. It's riddles. Time. Yeah, yes, we'll riddle, have to have you guys back this. study this episode. Have you guys back so we know you how to talk translate. to you. Yeah. You could study like whatever twin speak. Like, I find that and, and the yeah. inherent understanding that we have is really intense. I feel like understanding Joe's that happens on an intuitive level. Like Does. I don't get I, what she says logistically, but I feel in my body what she means. That's yeah, funny. I feel. Like not my in your body, blood has your like yeah. it's like sizzling right now for some reason no, in a good okay. way. I'm but also, I don't care. I think she's bringing something you know? up for you. Yeah, yeah. Am I a trauma. You? <laughs> <laughs> I should bring you a to my new trauma. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for you though. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited for you to become even more traumatized. Thanks. It Bye. is. They traumatize. It's got to get worse. Think out of my therapist. Yeah. Body. Right. Is that yeah. Well? Yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, okay. We've, I know what, we, where, what haven't we, what haven't we addressed? I feel like we've addressed everything and nothing. It's okay. crazy. I That's what ask. being with us is like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What was it like to be writing songs about someone in your band? Whoa. There, are, there are only a couple. Yo, there are only a couple. Really? Yeah, there are only a couple. Can you there name them? Couple. And they were written... No, and they were written when we were <laughs> no. when we were still together. Crying on the bathroom. And th floor. there was one. No, there was one. There, there. A lot of the most of the songs are not about me. Yeah, they're not. Unless she, yeah. she knows. That's not I, not, I, not. I, I mean, I, I, I have to let them. them do. I have to let them take the answer. I feel like most not, of the songs aren't though. They're not. Right. I, I ain't no dum dum. 
I know which ones are. Yeah, bad. We, we also we know. But it's we not know. true. It's not true that they were all written before the breakup. Yeah, there was though. one that was after, yeah. but. But but the ones yeah most of the ones were but there was a period of time it was really interesting like we <laughs> we were making the record we we broke up and this then is the first record. we didn't see each other for as long as we possibly could but we were sending songs dog yeah and we had to send songs back and that's forth romantic. and I was like yo this is a banger that's no romantic. offense yeah like, no offense know, yo this makes me fall in love with you again yikes <laughs> like that. yo dog no it was more just like shit this song is good. I think it would be. I remember one time we like yeah, we knows had a call about like mixing something, and then like you texted me after that you you said something. I don't remember. We're all listening. Yeah, yeah you said. <laughs> I don't want to text you. I don't want to learn about no, this memory is, yeah. right now. Right. To be honest, right, right, also right, the, right. the thing is like you texted me and you said something. Right. <laughs> Naomi did a good job. I mean, That's everything. all I can say. I because I can't imagine. Like, think about the position. I, I mean, like, I I'm also so songs. like think about the position. You think about me as a person and how like, right. It makes sense. To compartmentalize I was just like, it. Meow. I like, <laughs> you were like, right. So the EQ on this and Zero. the hi-hat should be louder. Yeah. I remember when we, uh, I remember when we were mixing that record, you were really into mixing. <laughs> I remember that, like giving mix notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was like your Work. love language was like yeah. my love language. I don't know if it was like love language. <laughs> Katie's love language was hopping in my car with an Arizona iced tea and like cigarettes and hot Cheetos. Yeah, and being <laughs> <laughs> those are the t- being <laughs> spooky. I was spooky. Yeah, it was well. spooky time. I would definitely was a spooky time for about a year. How spooky? How so? It was pretty spooky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like weeks leading to Halloween. Oh, you like spooky? To be honest, it would be like finding a skeleton in your closet. Was that kind of spooky? <laughs> like a? Is it like the when Ellen oh, has that guy walk through the? Yeah, haunted? I think that's the feeling. <laughs> Yeah, in the haunted house. Uh, what's his name? Andy. Uh-huh. I think I was in the Shadowlands for a while. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was walking through the crypts of the night. <laughs> Are you following this? <laughs> I haven't been following the whole thing. I'm just trying to like loop There's myself no in. <laughs> just dive in. It's like a hallucinogen. I, I think, you have like, to give into the experience. Like I'm on shrooms again. You well, literally just have to. Back. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have to let the like spinal whatever you're the top of your spinal column just send you right back to that. Yeah, that place. you can use your oh, noggin. Geez. I feel like a lot of people when they uh, have a breakup after like a long term intimate relationship, it's like you can just go to another side. She she had to. She, she wanted, really not understand. You can go to the dark side. She she put. You can go to the dark place. Okay, you can go to the chaos place. The bad. The um, bad zone. She, bad, she the was, bad behavior zone. She was zone. in the I episode the of Goosebumps zone. where the mask was stuck on her face. It was <laughs> Halloween. That is a wild. And episode. she couldn't get the mask off. Oh, I think I just had a period of time <laughs> where I just let myself do whatever I wanted. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but sometimes the things you want uh, we for yourself. Stop. Sometimes we stop. it's like we're not it, gonna be more specific. No, no I'm just it's saying, getting to sound I'm like something crazy happened. No, nothing crazy happened. It's like when you have hot sauce and you have to keep eating more. <laughs> <laughs> it actually was what? like that. Oh, yeah, it is oh like that. god. What? Okay. <laughs> Great. When, when some, cool. yeah, I, th- what was the question that I asked I you know. that we got to a hot sauce? It was like, how do you um, stay friends? And we're just like, it's like when hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah when you eat the hot sauce and you have to keep eating. Because um, it's so hot. To wrap up. Okay. Goodbye. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's do, can, can we, we do just one ask yes. real quick? Let's do back. one question. <laughs> yeah. For you. For the whole interview. Um, what just <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Um, this has been a trip, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, everyone's got okay. sweats. No, it's really Here good. Here we go. Scat the sweat. Um, oh, so we usually this is a give question like, from, bad advice. Yeah, this is okay. a question from Patreon. Okay. Thanks, mm, Patreon. Thanks, Patreon. Okay. Thanks, Patreon. Hi. <laughs> so my girlfriend and I have been together for about two years, and mm-hmm. I moved to her city to live with her about six months ago. I had to leave my dog with my parents, but other than that, it was amazing. Whoa. Until recently. Mm. Our vibes have just been off And even though she says she loves me I don't believe her Whoa! So on Valentine's Day We got drunk and broke up But the next morning Blamed it on the alcohol I can't decide if it's time to move on Or if I should keep trying I'm still totes in love But I'm tired of wondering if she is what It's should I time do? to investigate a brief period of sobriety In my experience Yeah, yeah. Opinion. Mm. yeah. Clear your head 
Interesting. No, no alcohol. Communicate. Also, you all, y'all just got to fucking talk. Have a conversation. Yeah. Like have a frank conversation. Katie's brewing. Yeah, You're what's wrong? Scared. So overwhelming to I would never give advice to someone I don't know. No offense to Josette and Naomi for just doing Honestly, that because uh, I know that was the question. For it, yeah, yeah, they want. I just up. I don't yeah. know this person, and it's everybody's life is so precious. It's like I don't know. Just don't well, judge yourself just uh, and be gentle. Pisces moon. Oh, yeah, okay. too scary don't for me. Nothing. Oh, don't worry, well, <laughs> I can't. You don't have to. <laughs> Sorry, she's utterly out of it. Oh my god. Oh my she's god. She's freaking out of a cow <laughs> yeah. mug right now. Um, I would say good luck with that. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Right. Not advice either. That's a good. Yeah. Answer. Do you? Isn't it? You just gotta talk, man. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. It'd be, be honest. Like that. Couples right. therapy. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Yeah. Be like that. Awesome. Okay. Well. Okay. Usually, what we do to wrap up is we have our guests write a haiku to send us off. So if you guys want to write a haiku Katie. about being talented and being Muna. Mm. Mm. Five, seven, five. Yeah. Okay. When you're in a band. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Please. I need to know what you're going to say. <laughs> I'm a, I'll do like three. What? That's, <laughs> no. That doesn't make sense, but good. I'll do. I, when you're in a band. I just want to say, fill my mouth <laughs> with. <laughs> it doesn't have to rhyme. Baby. 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 <laughs> good, good. Okay, wh- when you're it's in When you're a in a band, band fill <laughs> my mouth <laughs> with sand, baby. <laughs> What's going on? We're just moving our hands. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, it literally, I could not say anything <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, sobbing a little. <laughs> We're moving our hands. Very good. It rhymes. Katie had to feed that that one to me. I did feed that. No, uh, it was really good. Oh my God. <laughs> so, did you like that? Mine was going so to be, much. I don't know. Fuck this. <laughs> okay. uh, Which works as well. Yeah, it would work. Very interesting Naomi Naomi. attitude. Oh, make sure to stream Muna Saves the World on Spotify and yes. follow them everywhere at Where is Muna? Yes. It's a good record, I promise. It's it is really, really good. good. Record. See this? It's really See good. This. See yeah. this? See this. <laughs> What's this? See this? Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Yeah. See yeah. me. All right. Thank you, Muna, <laughs> for joining us. Katie, Naomi, Josette, you guys are all baddies. Yeah. I'll Thank say you. it. Very I'll say it. I wish I'll I could say, say the same. I'll, I'll be the but, first to say it. With baddies? <laughs> no, I said I, I wish I could. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Ogman. I'm Jack Dodge. And, and this, this is Muna. Date- oh, Muna. And Dating Straight. See you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. See you next Tuesday. Wow. Yeah. Love that. Oh my God. You guys are crazy. Yeah, crazy. Uh, that was so unique. Sorry. Yes. It's fun. You the- think you're going to be able to get an episode? We can be a broken heart.